Everyone has been wondering, what are we going to do now that Game of Thrones has completed its run? Well, we have the answer for you. It's called The Witcher, and we are joined by the cast today, Henry Cavill, Freya Allen, and Anya Charlotra. I did pretty good, right? Yeah. I did pretty good. We're so excited to have you. So this show has so much already buzzing about this is your new binge-worthy show. This is the new sort of one that you're going to be watching. Are you guys prepared for what is about to happen to your lives? I'm an answer for them. Absolutely not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there is a way you can prepare. I mean, it, it's, it's obviously an exciting run to get up to this, but yeah, once, once this hits, guys, um, everything changes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and now this is going to be your Comic-Con before the storm, as you say. Have you gotten a chance to enjoy every, anything? Have you seen anyone out on the streets? Have you been able to? Not at all. Yeah, we, I saw a photo of actually someone dressed up as... Geralt and Yennefer That's cool. in our costumes that we in those photos that we released. Yeah. So that was pretty exciting. And they put this that together first fast. taste. That's Sorry. Really I know. They're so fast. It's amazing. And they looked incredible. So everyone is talking yeah. about your look. Even in the very quick trailer that we saw, the look and then the drink, the wig. Tell mm -hmm. me all about coming up with your look. Uh well okay. We have the description in the book. Sure. And uh, Lauren and I went through many conversations via email and phone before we even uh, met for the third time uh, because we had a first meeting, then an audition, and then um, we saw each other on set or at location on location. Sure. And um, we were just, it was all about eyes and hair, and the hair took a long time sure. had to get the wig right. Um, which took some amazing work by Jackie, who does all my hair, does my hair work. And um, it was, it was tricky. We had to get the skin tone right as well. And Alva, who does my makeup, worked really hard on that and just found that right balance. And we went through plenty of tests, as you may have seen. I know you saw one of them. And yeah. we finally settled on something which I think we we're all really happy with. What's it like when you're in your trailer and you're done and you look in the mirror and you're in that costume? It's really cool. <laughs> Are you uh, like, I'm badass? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that definitely crosses your mind. I mean, and uh, wearing the contacts was, was one thing. You had to wear them for three hours at a time and uh, then take them out. Yeah. Mm. And so it was like, I look really badass, but my eyes hurt a little bit. Mm, mm. <laughs> she looks still so, human. Still yeah, human yeah, yeah, at still this human, moment. Still human, but it definitely helps you get into character. Yeah. When you're wearing all that get up, it's, um, it's just a short step to get up from there. Funniest moment on set so far filming. Biggest mishap. Mm. There was, um, I filmed with Julian Ryan Tut and he is so funny. Um, I remember doing the transformation scene with him and my goodness, like, I, I could have walked out of that day feeling very depressed, <laughs> but because I had him on set, it was hilarious. Keeping the mood light. Yeah. Is it so funny to be in between takes and be like, ha 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 ha? And... Uh, I find that ch really challenging, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, but actors work very, you know, different actors work very different. So um, it, that's exciting as well. It just brings a new energy on set. Yeah, I it love really that. helps. Have you had anything yet? I mean, there was one day where we had to spend the whole day just sitting in front of this table and, and it had this disgusting meat on it, which really smelled. <laughs> and it was just one of those bizarre days. And, and the actor who plays Iced, he couldn't pronounce this one word, um, Moorhog, and, he, and every take he was just like, I just can't get that right. And he just was like, what am I even saying? And we all just couldn't stop <laughs> laughing at the fact he just didn't know what he was talking about. And the smell of meat is and just... And the smell of meat, yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's mm. just a, a and very hot mm. room as well, no doubt. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Henry, you have said that you may be in the best shape of your life. This is crazy because you're also Superman. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Superman <laughs> was probably like the best shape. You're, like, how is it possible to be better than Superman? Um, well, it's... You're like, I'm Henry. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> Every time you get into shape, or I get into shape for a movie, yeah. or a TV show, it's always trying to upgrade from the last one. And my trainer, Dave Rienzi, is absolutely fantastic. And he, he pushes me to the point where... It's the absolute maximum for that job. And then in the interim, in between jobs, we'll try and work to improve it. And yep. then on the next job, again, just try and push the envelope a little more. And so, yeah, each time, if I'm doing it right, yeah. I should be in better shape, in theory. How, how can you tell you're in better shape? Like, you just can bench press more, you can, like, 
pick up more trucks uh, on the street yeah. at Comic Con? Yeah. Or it's, like, it's, how it's, does it's, that work? It's all based on a yeah, the amount of trucks I can pick up. It's uh, <laughs> no, it's because we are working in the medium of, of film. Yeah, uh, it's all about the aesthetic. And it's how one looks. And so if one looks a certain degree better than you looked previously, and some people won't notice a difference, but sure. people like myself and Dave do because we're, we're going through the finite process of changing things. Uh, but yeah, that and also your fitness. I yeah. do a charity run every year, the Daryl Challenge, and it gets easier every year. Mm-hmm. And so that's also a good way of measuring it. Okay. It tends to get heavier every year as well. So it's a good sign. <laughs> So on my off day, I'll eat like a deep dish pizza. What's your like, you know, when you're off, Cheat off? Day. Yeah. yeah. Um, it is. If you say like a vegetable dish, you're oh no, out no, no. Of here. no, 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 absolutely not. No, okay. no, I, I go, I go crazy when I have, I have a cheap meal. Okay. I have a cheap day. Okay, what's the meal? Um, it is often pizza. Mm-hmm. Pizza's a go-to, but burgers are a really good one, and sushi can be a good one too because you can eat just vast amounts of it, and it. When you compare it to what I normally eat, it's interesting. Okay. Okay. I know sushi is normally not normally yeah, a what that's people consider a real big cheat day meal, there, so. bud. <laughs> yeah, a couple of martinis like, I was might like help a cheat Snickers day. Snickers well. or whatever. <laughs> I ate some fish and rice. It was <laughs> awful for me. Um, so it has been reported that you didn't immediately land this role. Right. That Lauren was here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lauren, um, she, they actually passed over you for the first, they were like, no, thanks. And then, so what is the process of you landing this? Well, I, when I heard they were making The Witcher, I obviously was incredibly excited and I annoyed the living daylights out of my agents. And I, I kept, I called them every day and said, guys, now? Meeting now? How about now? And they eventually said, look, they've brought on a showrunner and... We've called them, and they said, look, we're not even close to that process yet. And I kept on pushing, pushing, pushing. And eventually, I think Netflix just got tired. And Lauren, I was like, okay, fine, we'll meet the guy. <laughs> and um, I sat down with Lauren. We had a great conversation yeah. about, about the show, where it was going, and, and my passion for it as well. And, and then she was very frank with me at the time. said, look, we are, haven't even started the process of casting yet. It was great to meet you, but we've got a long way to go. Yeah. Um, I've got to start writing as well. And so it was then, I think it was a four-month break or something after that. Yeah. Um, and it was, I was just hoping that when they came around, all the other casting and everything, and it's important that the right casting process mm-hmm. is done. You can't just hire the first person who walks into the room. And uh, I was fortunate enough to land the role um, after my audition, which was, it was fun. It was, it was nerve-wracking, obviously, because I really, really, really wanted it. Yeah. Um, but got there in the end, and here I am now. Oh my, and so what's that like in the hallway when there's like all the other guys that are up for the same role as you and you're staring them down and you're like, you don't even know me, I've been calling every day for a year. <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, I did not have to go through that process. Okay. It was because they were right at the end of their casting process. Okay. And they said to themselves, I'm sure, something along the lines of, let's bring Henry in and just hear him read okay. and, and see what he has to do. And at the time I was in, on holiday in Florida and... Uh, Actually, it was quite a big story about Cal that particular night before I left to fly to New York to have this meeting. But um, yeah, I got zero sleep that night because of what happened to Cal. Yeah. And uh, then had the audition and it went well. But it was just me. I just flew in to New York to here have the meeting are. with those guys. And, and here you are. Yeah. I love that. Um, okay, so we talked about it a little bit, but filling the void of Game of Thrones a lot of people, like everyone on the planet, is saying this is the this is what all the millions and millions of Game of Thrones fans are going to move over to. Do you feel? Ah! Yeah. I I haven't watched Game of Thrones, so I can't comment. Um, but I do feel like The Witcher is something. Uh, it's we, we've created a whole new world, yeah. um, and there's a lot of magical elements in. Mm in this world that I don't think Game of Thrones has. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's something completely different. And if the fans want to compare the two, then, yeah, then let it's them. It's very but flattering that they're comparing them. It, it is. Uh, right? It's, it's its own show. Yeah. And um, it, it has, obviously, it's the genre of fantasy, but there's a lot of prominent themes that aren't necessarily as prominent in Game of Thrones. Mm. But... Uh, I think it's best to look at it as its own it's show own. and mm. not compare it. What's the best way to watch? Uh, so we have we live tweet shows, we have watch parties where we dress up in full costumes. Not saying that I do it every week, but you know this happens. So what are you suggesting to your fandom 
is the best way to watch the show. Full costumes. Yeah. Full costumes, <laughs> right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Fun and amazing. Yeah. yeah, I thought. And they'll tweet you and yeah. Instagram you and you'll mm-hmm. see it and retweet. Okay. Yeah, I nice. love this. Um, all right. Last thing before we bring Lauren in, because she's here and I want to hear from her about this casting process. Um, I know that during Sherlock Holmes, you worked with Millie Bobby Brown, and I'm wondering if there's any chance that they, you will pop up on Stranger Things. Uh, I uh, Netflix? <laughs> um, I... I I don't know. I mean, if there's a role which is I'm suited for, yeah. maybe, and okay. I'm the right guy for it, then there's a chance. What was it like working with her? She's incredible. She really is. She's an absolute character, fantastic actress, and uh, I haven't finished the job yet. I'm still working on it, right. and um, I'm looking forward to my next day shooting with her. Yeah? Yeah, okay. she's extraordinary. She I'd really like is. to see you on Stranger Things, but I have a feeling you guys are going to be very, very busy. Mm. Mm. Hopefully. Mm. Yeah, hopefully. There's a lot going on. All right, let's bring in your EP. This is Lauren. Come on in. You're going to switch seats with Henry there because he's tall. It's so nice to see you. Thank you. So tell me about this casting situation. When did you first hear from Henry's annoying agent? (laughs) Uh, Really, really early before we had a script, before we were casting, before we really knew anything about the show. Okay. Um, Good. Now I know they weren't lying. Yeah. No, they were definitely not lying. (laughs) Um, No, you know, casting Henry, casting Anya and Freya was all like... Each of the casting processes is really different. Um, you've heard about Henry's already. Uh, Anya was actually the first person that we cast, and uh, it was incredible because I was flying back and forth between London, where I was in the writer's room, or Los Angeles to London. And uh, I think you were sort of pre-screened by Sophie, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then we went in and read Anya, and um, there was the scene that we had written. We had fake sides, basically, because we knew they were going to leak. Yeah. So I went ahead and said, like, these are not real scenes. Oh! Sneaky, sneaky! (laughs) And, uh, but there was a scene where uh, Yennefer was eating an apple, and eating an apple and kind of getting grossed out. And do you remember? I remember. (laughs) We went through how many apples? We went through so many (laughs) apples, and there was a point in the scene where uh, Annie would take a bite of the apple and then spit it out everywhere, and was like wiping it off her face, and we would finish the scene, and then Annie would scramble to the ground and pick up all of the chewed up pieces of apple between the And we were like, no, no, we're okay. it's okay. You can I be did. in it. But it was such a great, um, it was such a great sort of indicator of, of how you kind were Kind of Jennifer to, we wanted. Exactly. How you were going to sink into the character. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, casting Freya as Siri. Siri was a really tough casting process. Um, and we actually started by looking uh, at someone much, much younger. Um, Siri in the books is uh, around 11. Yeah. And we started there, and very quickly we sort of aged up the process. Um, but what's great about Freya is she was actually cast as another role at first, uh, a much, much smaller role in the first episode. Okay. And uh, when we hadn't found our Siri yet, yeah. uh, we had seen over 200 girls, and we hadn't found our Siri. And uh, Sophie Holland, our casting director, said, I want, I want you to think about Freya for this. And I remember saying, how are we going to call Freya's agent and say, we know we cast you. It's not that we don't want you for that role, but we may want you for something slightly, slightly bigger. Uh-huh. Um, and I flew into London and we met and, uh, and cast Freya that day. I so love that. So each of these processes were totally different, but like, look at, look at what, look we what got. you got. Yeah. It's amazing. Last thing before you have to go. When Henry, at the end, is pulled in for the final audition after he has been like, I'm so passionate, you've met, you whatever, did you have it in the back of your mind, like, this is our guy? Or were there other real contenders where you're like, it's... Um, it's funny, you know, so it was about... You can be honest, no. he's standing right behind you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good that's question. Not, no yeah, pressure. Yeah. That's yeah. not threatening at all. Um, <laughs> no, you know, it's funny, and Henry actually knows this, is that um, after our first meeting, we met with tons of other potential Geralts, and... Um, by that point, I was writing a lot of the scenes, and I always had Henry's voice in my head. So when we finally, when I finally said, will you come in and actually like read me <laughs> some lines so I can actually hear your voice, not just in my head, um, when, when Henry left the day, that day, it was myself and Sophie Holland and Alex Sakharov, our director, and we'd all just looked at each other and smiled, and we knew it was done. It was, uh, that's how each of these roles was. Mm. That day, we knew we had it, so mm. it's... Good job, man! You nailed it! Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it, it well was, done. Well, auditioning, the auditioning process is nerve-wracking. It's, yeah. it's never comfortable. Of course. Yeah. You never feel like you've nailed it afterwards, yeah. because you're in a room... Which and you want it more and more. And, yeah. Every, every, every audition. Time. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. How many times did you come in? 
three times? Three times? Yeah. Wow. Well, listen, congratulations to all of you. Get ready. It's going to be a ride. Um, we're so happy. And thank you for taking the time at Comic-Con to come sit down with Entertainment Tonight and give us some insight into the way the show went together. Can't wait to see it. And good luck. Yeah, and thank get you. Get some we're sleep. So You're going to need it. You're going to need it. Thank <laughs> you so much, you guys. Great. Thank you. Awesome.